So as you know, Nico recently got a job at the Daily Bugle. And last week, I will admit, I, I did get him in a bit of trouble. But due to his journalism degree, he was able to write a great apology. I'll use that next time. Luckily, Nico still has his job at the Daily Bugle, and he actually used all of us house members as part of his next investigation. And we just got all the preparations set up. All right, so this is behind the scenes. We're all set up. We got the sun. That's my therapist, Melody. We got Nico in the sting room. Natalie behind the camera. Anyways, too bad Nasu's not here. Moved out a couple months ago. Rent problems. Not about me. Totally. It's a rainy afternoon in the neighborhood. Most people are bundled up inside. But as I and the rest of the crew at the Bugle know, a little rain never stops predators. Good evening and welcome to the pilot episode of our all new investigation. I'm Nico J. Kajima and we're taking the field to catch predator adults online seeking children for sex. I'm working alongside local police as well as my colleague slash housemate Nicholas Wong, who scanned the internet for adults seeking to solicit illegal relationships with minors. So I've basically set up these secret social media accounts where I've taken pictures of real 14-year-old girls basically creating these pedophile mousetraps. So once they send their first message, we got them. Ah, looks like we got our first victim. I mean subject. His screen name is Lugubrious Arrow 69. He likes to be called Arrow. He's 20 years old and he recently moved to Toronto from the West Coast to pursue a life reviewing pretentious films. Arrow drove from Toronto, Canada to our sting house in San Francisco, California to meet up with who he thinks is a 14 year old girl. What he doesn't know is we've placed over a dozen hidden cameras throughout the house. His date with what he thinks is a 14 year old will be recorded shown to a few hundred loyal YouTube viewers. Note that in both California and Toronto, it's illegal for a 20-year-old such as Arrow to solicit a 14-year-old. Once he's made contact with our decoy, who Nick calls Brittany, the conversation gets very disturbing. This is how the text conversation goes. Do you think I'm sexy? I'm sure, whatever you say. I really want to be intimate with you. Do you like being on top? LOL, I guess. What's your favorite film? Uh, Star Wars? Are you serious? A good girl like you should be watching movies with more class. Have you seen a ghost story? No, but I've seen it on Netflix. Cool. We can Netflix. And chill. He then starts asking very personal questions nobody should ever ask a minor. Are you a virgin? Do you trim your blank? Arrow knows what he's doing is unusual. And he hastily mentions, As a 20-year-old guy, it's a bit weird talking to a girl this age. But if nobody sees it, it's not illegal. What he doesn't say is that in California, soliciting a minor online for sex is a crime. And all the raunchy texts he sent is enough evidence to put him behind bars. He calls our decoy to tell him that he's on the way. Nicholas, our criminal watchdog operator, takes the call. Hey, baby. Oh, really? Yeah. My 14-year-old self is so excited to see you. Okay. See you, baby. <laughs> so fucking stupid. After a long wait, our subject finally arrives at the house. Dasan is our on-site decoy who could easily pass as a 13-year-old girl. You motherfuckers better be paying me well for this shit. But as our subject continues towards the door, I notice something strange. So I'm watching the monitors, and I realize, I look a little closer. Oh, we used to live with this guy. This, this is Nasu. He, he moved out a couple months ago. He told us he was moving to Toronto, but I, I, didn't, I never thought it would be him. As surprised as I was to see Nasu, he would find that he was in for an even bigger one. Well, hey Nasu, how's it going? Mm, not great, but what's new? What you got in the bag there? Well, just uh, some lotion. You know, my hands get dry in the winter. What do you mean in the kitchen? Sure. 
So? <laughs> so, what do you think of my hairstyle? It's pretty good, I like it, but you don't look like your picture. Went to Miami last week, got hair. As Nasu looks around the house, he realizes something is wrong. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna step outside really quick. I'm gonna check the address. Uh, wait. Our decoy moves into distraction mode. Wait! Want Netflix and chill? Distraction mode successful. I know where this is headed. Why don't you take a seat right over there? What are we doing here tonight? Just here to hang out. T to hang out with whom? Uh, with her. Who's her? Uh, Brittany. And how old is Brittany? Uh, from what I know, 37. She told you in the chat that she was 13. And what did you expect to happen tonight? Uh, didn't expect much. Just to hang out, watch Netflix. So you drove 39 hours down I-5 from Toronto to hang out. It's not even illegal. It is after this chat. Are you home alone? Do you trim your blank? As a 20-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to a girl of this age. Of course, this is where breaking the law comes in. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? No. So you were just going to Netflix and chill with no protection? I wasn't going to what? I wasn't going to what? <coughs> I wasn't going to have sex. How do you think this looks? It seems that you drove all this way to have sex with a young girl. Look, chat is chat. Chat is chat, but showing up is showing up, Nasu, and guess what? You showed up! Well, the age of consent laws say- What you say about the age of consent laws is phony. Coming to meet a young girl after a sexually charged conversation is soliciting a minor, which is illegal in both California and Toronto. Oh god, oh god, it's so messed up. Oh, this is horrible. I didn't mean it, okay? You don't have to keep saying it. I'm just depressed. I'm sad. I'm ugly. Look, look, I'm, I'm sympathetic. I, I really am, but this doesn't excuse. Can I leave? Uh, you can leave, but just know this one thing. It's that I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm not, but it's fun to do the act. And this is an investigation where we investigate grown men who try to solicit inappropriate and illegal relationships with teens on the internet. <clears throat> now, if there's anything you'd like to say, you can go and say it, or you can just step out the garage. All the cops here. We'll see. Never learn. So you know how long Nasu's gonna be in jail? Uh, you know, could be a couple episodes, could be an entire season, but it's really up to him. Have I seen you before? You know what, Nasu? I would be disappointed in you, but to be honest, I expected this. This was not a surprise at all. Not in the slightest. But hey, let's look at the positives. You'll be with Tyler again, your old roommate, and now cellmate. So that's not too bad. Along with the sex offender stuff. You know, I'll be candid for a minute. 
I, I can't say that we're exactly happy with you, but if you want to come back, you're more than welcome. All right, so we're cool? Cool. Let's get some shawarma. All right. It's been a successful day for predator hunting. Come back next week where we investigate a guy who's been leaving suspicious Instagram comments on young teens posts. Until then, I'm Nico J. Kashima. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Hansen. Have a seat right over there because you are watching the Media Avengers. I'll be watching as well.